One of the hottest trends in the bariatric cooking world right now is wonton wrappers. So today we're gonna to show you a great technique on how to make little wonton cups that are just light and crispy and fit right into the little bites philosophy that we have. So. They're fun, the kids like them. Yes. And, and that's half the battle when you're feeding a family is finding something that you can cook for the whole family. Exactly, and this is definitely one that fits in that category. And after we show you how to make the wonton cups, we're gonna show you guys a great filling to use with them. So stick around, come Stop see what we're up to. to. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to make a wonton cup. And this is super easy, but I get a lot of questions on how to do this. And trust me when I say it, it couldn't be simpler. You're gonna preheat your oven to 350 degrees, and then you're gonna take a little muffin tin, and you're gonna spray it really, really good with cooking spray. Now you're gonna take your little wonton wrappers, and you're gonna just tuck those down into your muffin tin, and you wanna make sure that you're making it into a little cup just like so. And egg roll wrappers are just too big, right? Well, you know what? If you can't find wonton wrappers and all you can find is egg roll wrappers, you can actually cut them into quarters. Oh, okay. And they work exactly the same way. They're the same size and shape okay. as everything. Okay. So actually, the last time that I made these, I couldn't find wonton wrappers, and that's exactly what I did. Okay. Because so, I know a lot of people, that's one of the first things they say is, uh, I can't find, find them. Find, well, if you can find egg roll wrappers, you can do ex this. And they're usually in the produce department. Yes, you're gonna find them really um, right next to where the uh, soy cheese and tofu. And chopped and vegetables. <laughs> things and chopped vegetables, pre-chopped vegetables, which we love. Yeah. All right, and as you can see, they just kind of went really fast. You're just gonna tuck them down in there, just like so. And then you now, of course, I use a full-size muffin tin with mine because I've got a family of four that loves these. Okay, and then, yes, you're gonna just spray those down again. Frame really good with cooking spray on the top. So it, it really kind of... What happens is the cooking spray is what helps it brown and crisp up. All right, so we're gonna pop these in the oven, and when we come back, we're gonna show you what they look like, and we're gonna show you a great filling. So stick around, and we'll be right back. Okay, show me what you're gonna do this thing. <laughs> All right, this is what our wontons look like. These kind of got a little discombobulated in the oven, as you can see, but they're still good. And I want you to listen to this crunch here. They just are crispy. That's, and that's what Jacob likes about them. Yeah, that's what my son just loves. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys real quick how to fill them. This is our bacon cheeseburger filling that my kids just devour. And all it is is a little ground meat and bacon that you brown off together and season with a little Worcestershire sauce, salt, and pepper. Less salt than pepper because they've already got the Worcestershire and the bacon in there, so it doesn't need much. And we're making these kind of adult friendly today with a little bit mm -hmm. of pepper jack and some jalapenos. Yes, we're, we're cooking for the film crew today, yeah. who always appreciates that. <laughs> I'm gonna do one more of these, I think, so we got two of them. We'll go ahead and do three. Yeah, okay. That way everybody But these are just, you know, look, I mean, this is just so easy to do. So easy to fill these up. You just spoon your filling right on in. And you uh, <laughs> put some jalapenos put on there. Put your cheese right on top. And then put a jalapeno right on there on the... There we go. <laughs> you lost it. I lost it completely. She lost her peppers. There we go. All right. And you know what? We're going to put a little piece of bacon on each one, too, maybe? Maybe a little bit. A little there. more jalapeno. And there oh, we go. Yeah. Okay. These, we're going to pop under the broiler for a couple of minutes, and they're going to get melted and browned, and we'll show you what they look like in just a second. Smells See in a minute. Good. It smells good already. It does. So, See you in a minute. All right. That's what they look like. All stuffed and beautiful. Look at that. We've got the, the bacon cheeseburger filling, the cheese. That's pepper jack that we used on top, and I topped mine with a little bacon. And then, of course, our film crew. The boys love their jalapenos, so we got some jalapeno peppers on there just for them. And they're going to give that a taste in just a minute, too. So you know, I'm, I'm sitting here thinking. And when we talk about playing with your food and thinking outside the box, I'm thinking Italian sausage with some oh, pepperoni. Oh, yes, absolutely. You, know? you can do pizza version. You can oh, do yeah. Asian style. You can fill these with chili and cheese. You can fill these 
with cream cheese and you can do a dessert with them. They're just so versatile. Yeah. So send us your ideas. Yeah, it's absolutely. We'd love to hear from you, but I'm going to give this a taste real quick. Good one too. Because that just is so good. I know what it tastes like, but I'm going to eat it anyway. I know. That pepper jack cheese mm -hmm. just gives it so much flavor. And the thing with the wontons, the reason why wontons are so popular right now in bariatric cooking is because number one, they help us with portion control. And number two, um, they're really relatively low carb as opposed to using like a slice of bread or something like that. One wonton wrapper is just like scant. I think it's maybe what, two carbs? Probably less per, than I'll, We'll put the information up later, but you know, it's just, so that's why they're really popular and they taste good too. So we wanna know what your favorite wonton cup creation is. So go make your own. And when you do, be sure you give us a visit on our Facebook page or our group or shoot us an email. And you can also visit us at our website, www.7bites.net. And that's gonna have all of our recipes on there. So catch up with us. Yeah, and see what we're up to because <laughs> maybe you've got a better idea. I know, I know, we wanna hear from you. So see you later. Thanks for watching.